Ashley with the Brain Performance Center. And today I want to talk about what neurofeedback is, how it works, and what it will do for you. Neurofeedback is a form of biofeedback that's used to change the electrical activity in the brain. And neurofeedback has evolved. I became board certified in 2005, and at that point in time, we were working with two sensors and really just training surface EEG. And over the years, it's evolved, and now we do whole brain training. And we're training the networks and the hubs in the brain because it is all connected. With whole brain training, you're looking at three things. One, you're looking at the power in the brain. We all have slow, medium, and fast waves, and we need them all, but we need the right amount. Second thing is the coherence, and that's how the brain shares information. Some brains share too much, some brains don't share enough. Doesn't matter, it's dysregulation. And the third is phase, and that's the timing in the brain. And if you've ever known somebody, they just they always interrupt you, and they'll apologize, I'm so sorry, but I just can't help it. Well, if the timing in the brain is too fast, maybe they can't. Everything you do, you don't do, how well you do it, depends on what is going on in your brain. There's four things that will get your brain dysregulated. One is genetics. Brain waves are just as genetic as how tall you are, what color eyes you have. Two is physical head trauma. Anytime you hit your head, you change the way things are wiring and firing. I think we've all hit our head. Did you play a sport? Did you learn how to ride a bike? Were you in a car accident? Did you have a sibling? The third thing is emotional trauma. And I don't wish it on anybody, but I think we've all had it. No, our dog has died, a divorce in the family, we were bullied as a child or as an adult. And the last thing is stress. And I don't know anybody that hasn't been stressed out in the last six months. When your body gets stressed out, the adrenal glands start kicking out cortisol. And that cortisol can get into the gray matter and the white matter. And that changes the way your brain's working, changes the way you make decisions, changes the way you process information. So those are the things that put your brain in a dysregulated state. The good news is you can put that brain in a regulated state. Creating change in the brain is easy. Getting the brain to hold the change is the hard part. And that generally comes with 15 to 20 sessions because what the brain is doing is learning new patterns. How that works is you're sitting across the desk from me or Sally and you're looking at a monitor and you're watching something on the screen and you want that picture to stay bright. And for that picture to stay bright, your brain has to change and it has to hit the thresholds that I'm setting in the computer. And of course I'm gonna set those where they're doable. But once the brain, the brain learns how to do it, then I'll make it more challenging and I'll, I'll lower that threshold. It's almost a shaping process. We're not asking the brain to do anything it doesn't want to do. The brain loves to learn. The brain will create change within itself and that will improve your performance on an emotional level, on a cognitive level. So if for any reason you think your brain's not working as well as it could, you should explore your brain.